welcome back to my kitchen and we're continuing on with our flaxseed demonstration and right now we're making smoothies and this is one way to get more flax into your system every day again flax is really inexpensive it's easy to get and it stores well it's a great source of omega-3 oils so I am actually showing you how to make your own nut milk which I'll actually do in another video but right now this is a really simple nut milk recipe and I made cashews today. I soaked them. They've been soaking for a couple hours and I get raw cashews and so we'll be making, I like specifically cashew milk. It's really smooth and creamy and just delicious. I have, if you've seen my other videos, my Vitamix. I love it and when I blend up nuts, it makes this really smooth milky consistency. You can also soak almonds, Brazil nuts, all kinds of other nuts and make your own milk. So I'm not going to be keeping the water that I soaked these in. So I'm going to actually be dumping that in my sink. And I'm going to be leaving the cashews that I have in here and adding these to my blender. And I have water. So this is about one cup of water here. Adding that and I'm just going to do a pinch of salt here just to give it you know the salt infusion because salt makes everything better doesn't it and what I have here is three tablespoons of whole flax seeds again I don't recommend people buying the flax meal buying it from the store get your whole flax seeds and grind them when you use them that way it saves the integrity and the nutrition that they have. So I'm putting that in here with my shake. And I have protein powder here. I have one scoop of protein powder that I'm putting in. And because I usually make shakes for me and my husband, I'm gonna use what, these are frozen bananas here. You can use fresh. I love frozen because it just makes it more like a treat. So this is about the equivalent of one banana here and I am using carob powder. It makes things kind of, again, gives it kind of a chocolatey taste. I personally don't eat a lot of chocolate because it creates a lot of inflammation in my body, and I like carob. It's kind of a good substitute for chocolate, so I'll put this in most of my recipes that call for chocolate. I actually use carob instead, so I'm putting that in here, and carob is spelled C-A-R-O-B. You can find it at Whole Foods, I'm sure. Okay, once that's in, I might add a little bit more ice to this just to make it a little bit more mm, cold probably. So I'm not gonna do the actual blending on the video because it's really loud. So I'll blend it and I'll be right back. And so I just blended my smoothie and depending on what thickness you like, you can add a little more water, you can add a little bit more almond milk if you have that, rice milk, something just to make it a little smoother. And I recommend that everybody eats breakfast. I have so many of my clients who tell me they don't have time to eat breakfast or they grab a cup of coffee and a muffin on the way at one of the coffee shops. And I find that making a smoothie is really easy. You can get a lot of nutrition in in the morning. This took me five minutes to make. And what I do is I keep mason jars actually. So you can buy them or if you have them already or any kind of jars really, if you have uh, an applesauce jar that you're done using. It's got a lid on it. I pour this, take it with me, keep it in the car so I can drink it on the way to work or I drink it at work. And you've got protein, you've got carbohydrates, you've got fats, you've got lots of nutrition, the protein powders, all the vitamins and minerals I need for the day. So there's really no excuse not to have some breakfast in the morning. So do this for yourself, okay? And let us know if you have any comments or questions, post in our Facebook page, you can send us emails, and again, if you private message me, not everybody gets, everybody gets the information. So share it with others. When you post, lots of other people have had the same questions. So share it with all of us and I can respond to you and respond to everybody else. So enjoy it, have fun, feel good, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for joining us.